What is going on guys? It is Michael from GPRisers.com back here in the mining bunker and today we are finally going to start on our RX 6800 XT rig build. So as you guys know, we have a couple RX 6600 XT uh, rigs up here in the mining bunker. We have one, two, and three. And then actually down here we have a uh, RX 6600 non-XT rig. And we have a couple more uh, in the test bench. We actually have maxed out with RX 6600 non-XTs. And the rest of the bunker really is consumed with uh, NVIDIA cards, RX 3090s right there, or I'm sorry, RTX 3090s, RTX 3070 Ti's. Over on this end, uh, you can see the Zotax right over there. Uh, those are 3090s. Underneath that with the Aorus uh, spinning cards, we have 3060 Ti LHRs. Um, but in today's video, we are finally starting on our RX 6800 XT rig build. Now, for whatever reason, these cards have been a little more difficult to get than the NVIDIA cards. Um, the pricing is just not really there. Uh, you know, I'm not in a major hurry to get any of these, and I'm not going to overpay for any of these. So um, these four cards that you see here, I'm actually going to be using five cards. I have an additional Power Color Red Dragon on the test bench right now. But these, uh, the total of five cards did take about a, I want to say 45 days to two months to get. Um, so we will be utilizing five cards in today's build. Uh, we will, of course, be using our GPRisers.com 8 capacitor risers, and I have the box for those right there. Uh, to power this thing, we are going to be using an EVGA 1600 P2 power supply. Um, if you haven't seen the other videos or this is your first time on the channel, I am a huge fan of EVGA power supplies. I've come into some issues with them, but their customer support is out of this world. So we will be utilizing the 1600 watt power supply. Uh, the motherboard for this is going to be an ASRock H110 Pro BTC. Um, this is the second revision one. Um, there's not really anything different than the first revision. Um, it's just the uh, newer board. And we will be utilizing a G4400 processor, which is already on there. And as you can see, the green stick of RAM right there is a generic four gigabyte stick. We will be utilizing Minerstat OS, uh, which is a Linux distribution, uh, web hosted, web UI type layout to control your mining farm. If you're interested in checking them out, please check the description down below. We have a link to them. Uh, they also have a Discord that is super helpful. The reason why I switched from them from Hive OS is the customer support is out of this world and they pretty much help you along the way uh, with whatever you may need. So for the cards, um, I'm going to split this into two videos. Uh, I know these videos just get too long. I think the other video might have been three uh, that we broke it down into. Uh, just constant issues with that rig. Hopefully I'm not going to come into issues with this, but I probably will. Uh, with my luck so far. Uh, we will be using two of the Power Color Red Dragons. You can see that one on the right there. Uh, the uh, second one that we have is on the test bench, ready to go. Uh, we will then be using uh, two of the Asus Tough Gaming cards. Um, those are identical to the NVIDIA counterparts that they have. Uh, great cards, built very well. Um, however, the NVIDIAs have the thermal throttling issue, and I have not run into that with AMD yet, uh, but we will find out. Um, and then to the left there, you see the MSI Gaming Trio X. So those are the five cards that we will be using. Uh, to boot this, we will be using our GPRisers.com 64 gigabyte boot drive. And these cards will, of course, be utilizing our uh, eight capacitor risers. They are a little higher powered cards, so we will be using eight capacitors and we will be using our 18 AWG uh, white splitter cables. And also, uh, we will be using our frame with our 120 millimeter fans. Uh, they do have a white LED on them. Um, we don't have these frames for sale yet. However, uh, at time of posting this video, check our store in about a week and we'll likely have them up for sale. Uh, global logistics have been an absolute nightmare, uh, but we think we have everything sorted out. So we are very hopeful to have these in stock very soon. Back here, you can see the uh, 120 millimeter fans. We do utilize them on all of our rig builds here. They have that nice white um, o-ring on them so those are the products we will be using in today's rig build i just wanted to go over every little detail with you guys uh every part that i'm using why i'm using it and again we are using so many of our products and we use all of our products in every rig build that we do build we have always kind of had the mentality of you know when it comes to mining rigs with how expensive these graphics cards are you got to have the highest quality stuff to build these out and so because of that we do use all of our own products on all of our mining rigs so so that said, I'm going to go ahead and get the motherboard and the power supply and all of that kind of stuff 
uh, put onto the bottom of the frame here. And then I'm gonna go ahead and take this camera off of this tripod, walk around with it a little bit and show you guys uh, the differences in the cards and everything like that. So that said, let me go ahead and jump into it and we'll be back in a second. All right, guys, we are back and we have everything uh, installed on the mining rig except for the graphics cards and risers. I went ahead and installed the power supply, the motherboard RAM, um, everything, actually the motherboard and RAM, all that was uh, together already. I installed minor stat on the SSD. I do have this hooked up to our PDU right over there. And so what I'm gonna do at this point, if you see my other videos, is I kind of always like to you know, boot it uh, at this point before loading up graphics cards. Um, I boot it multiple times uh, before loading on all the graphics cards. But uh, this initial boot is just to make sure it turns on. There is nothing wrong with the power supply, the cords going to the motherboard. Uh, making sure all the fans are in working order, uh, things of that nature. So that said, I am gonna go ahead and flip this on. So I just remembered um, this ASRock board that I have does not uh, boot from AC loss. So I do have to manually turn this on. Um, I don't have a button with me, but I do have um, a utility knife. And uh, with this utility knife, I can kind of just, as long as metal touches the two pins, it'll work. Um, I don't recommend doing it. Uh, it's better to have a button, but um, but uh, this knife was given to me by uh, Etched. You can find them on uh, Etsy. They have a whole store where they have tumblers, um, utility knives. So I did uh, just drop it, but it did open up so you guys can see. I have been using this quite a lot. They do custom engraving. They do a great job, a very uh, nice company. So that said, let me go ahead and short this out. I believe it's going to be these two pins right here. There it goes. So you can see the uh, fans are all on. Let me zoom out a little bit here. There we go. So all the fans are working. Uh, not sure if you guys can see it here, but let me go ahead and just start moving this thing. I feel like it's a little too stationary. Still getting the hang of it. Uh, you can see the processor fan is going. So I think all is good at this point. Now I'm gonna go ahead and unbox these cards, show you guys the differences in models. Um, I'm also gonna grab the other uh, Red Dragon that I have and get it all put out onto the table and get it ready to load up on this rig. So that said, we'll be back in a second. All right, guys, we are back and we have all of the uh, five RX 6800 XTs that we are going to be throwing onto our rig. Now, I'm just gonna show you guys a little bit uh, of the differences between these. Uh, these two right here are going to be the Power Color Red Dragons, not the Red Devils. Um, right here are the ASUS Tough Editions, and right here is the MSI Gaming Trio X. Now, there's not really any differences. Uh, of course, the power colors do not make NVIDIA cards. Um, however, that said, uh, the ASUS Toughs are identical. Um, they do just show Radeon right on the top there. Um, and then also, this MSI Gaming Trio X is fairly identical. Um, the only difference that I could really find with this uh, is that right here you have a silver um, outline and then on the NVIDIA versions you just have a black one. I can show you guys uh, the difference really quick here. I think I have one um, right here, yes. This is a RTX 3070 Ti. Um, you can see the black right there on it. So as you can see here, this does have a silver finish to it as compared to the NVIDIA RTX 3070 Ti. So that said, um, all these cards are fairly large um, compared to, you know, like the 6600 XTs, the 6600s especially. I would say that these are all kind of in the realm of the, uh, you know, in comparison to NVIDIA, the RTX 3070 Ti, RTX 3070, and the versions above that. So that said, um, I'm not exactly sure the complete power draw that's going to be coming from this rig. Um, really the only way that I'm going to you know, be able to figure this out is getting these cards on there, doing a you know, reading over on our PDU over there. So the system idle of this uh, rig, I'm going to guess is around 80 watts, and that is because we have eight fans on it. Actually, I could probably test it out a little bit. Uh, the CPU is not gonna be so active, but 
you know what, I'm gonna go ahead and turn this on, get a system idle reading from it, and then, um, so that once we get a couple of these cards on here, we can then back out the system idle and find out really what these cards are pulling. AMD cards are notorious for, you know, having readouts that are different than what they are actually pulling. I know that these are well under 200 watts. Um, uh, from my test bench, I wanna say I was right at 150 watts, and that was not really all too optimized. So I will be powering each of these with a single eight pin splitter, but I will go ahead and figure out the system wattage from this, um, go ahead and get everything else ready for it. But I'll get all that sorted in the next video. I'll let you guys know you know, what the system idle is and what all these cards end up pulling, you know, from the PDU. I am hopeful to get eight cards on this. Um, I probably will not be able to do that. If I can't get eight cards um, going, then I probably will do seven. I do wanna only have the 1600 watt power supply, so I'm going to be watching very closely the wattage that this thing is pulling. Again, I only have five cards, but I am on the search for a couple more of these. But again, guys, in the next video, I'll go over the hash rates, uh, power draw, everything like that. I hope everyone watching this has a great rest of their day, and we'll see you guys in the next video.